what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel i am the gz guy thank you guys so much for checking in i know that you're all anxious and the topic of the day for a lot of you is going to be getting the details on the giveaway i will be getting to that here in just a bit but before we do that i'm on my way back to uh, my house after getting some energy beverages because as a lot of you know that have already been tuned into the channel i am useless without those so I want to get my caffeine flowing here before we get too much into stuff. Let me give you a quick poll here with the G. She moves. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people discredit the VQ motor. And I personally think it's a great platform and a great platform to build on. And that kind of is going to lead me into what I want to talk about today. So I've gotten a lot of questions. Uh, since my last video over on Instagram a few on here people reaching out which thank you very much for doing that About my plenum uh, my upper intake plenum and they're talking about wanting to put plenum spacers on And what's the difference and it made me realize sometimes guys I forget I Don't necessarily share some of the knowledge um, or the reasons behind stuff and it's not trying to not bring you guys quality video um, it comes down to just like all of you I had to learn somewhere and sometimes once we retain that knowledge and have it We don't remember to share it for uh, people that are trying to learn So with that said, we're gonna get back to the house And I will go over a few things with you guys and then we'll get into what you're all waiting for We'll talk about that uh, giveaway, which I'm super excited And with that I've also got some other uh, really good news or big news, I guess so I will be back with you here in a few. We're almost back to the house. Stand by, guys. All right, guys, so we are back at the house. So as you can see right there on the screen, I've got my engine temps up to normal running temperature. The reason that's important is, uh, let me get the car shut off here really quick. Let's step outside the car and uh, we'll get more into this. So I've been getting a lot of questions after my last video about my intake uh, plenum and people are thinking about running spacers instead of the plenum, which is also a great uh, option. But I wanted to show you guys something that I think is really, really cool about this plenum that I'm running. Sit tight for one sec here. Bear with me, guys, trying to get the hood propped because I want to make sure everything is up to 10. With that said, check this out. Car just popped the hood, and literally, I can put my hand on this upper plenum anywhere you want, with no issue, all right? The engine is hot, anything else I touch is hot. And that leads me into what I wanna discuss about heat soak and what some of the benefits of running a aftermarket plenum are, some of the benefits of the spacer, and kind of what the purpose of that is. So I've also had people asking me why I'm not gonna run the uh, carbon fiber engine cover, why am I giving that away? So let's flip this around one more time before we get into the rest of it. As you can see, clearance wise, there is not a whole lot in between my strut bar and my uh, current setup. And mounting points are no longer there because there's typically two mounting points on the back of the stock uh, upper plenum for the engine cover. I could run it with just two here, if I got rid of my strut bar and try to, you know, shave out the underneath of it and whatnot. I'm not gonna do that, guys. I don't wanna ruin it. It is a super nice looking piece. And again, I wanna help you guys with your build. So with that said, let's understand what heat soak is. Um, heat soak refers to your engine temperatures and basically what uh, soaks into the motor. And hotter temperatures have less oxygen in them and so when you're running a car, they run off of fuel and oxygen. They mix in the combustion chamber, thus giving you combustion and so on and so forth, okay? So by keeping your temps down, what happens is you get a better combustion and which will also lead to a bump in horsepower, all right? So the purpose behind running either a spacer or different plenum is it helps with the amount of air that goes into each chamber and basically will help it go to all cylinders in an even manner thus again giving you better combustion horsepower and stuff like that um, 
I'm trying to keep it kind of simplified. I mean, it, you can get really technical because it's science, but that is the basic idea behind it. You're allowing, bottom line, more air and keeping those temperatures at a, a cooler uh, point, which is gonna give you, again, better combustion and will also lead to uh, better horsepower in the long run. That's why a lot of times, if you've ever noticed, if you go to the drag strip, if you guys are into that, that you'll notice like ETAs and times are typically a lot quicker in the morning hours when it's cooler or later in the evening because of the outside temps. Um, and that's why the guys and the gals in the pits cooling their motors down. And, you know, maybe you've never thought about it, but that's why they're putting ice on the top of the motors, stuff like that. They're trying to keep those temperatures down to a beneficial temperature for getting out on that strip and doing their thing. So other things that you can do to help with all that, again, your cooling system. Uh, and if you guys wanna know more about this, I'll do another video, we'll go more in depth. But just a general idea, you can do things, like I said, your cooling system, uh, radiator, you can do things, your hoses, even like the, the silicone hoses help run things cooler. I mean, they're warm, but again, I can still put my hand on it. You guys couldn't see that. But again, I can hold that. It's not burning my hand. You know, if I touch the radiator, that's gonna hurt. That still gets hot. But just to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on with that. Um, and the reason behind the thermal coating for you guys and gals that were asking me some questions about running the uh, spacers, it's the same concept as what Kinetics is running here. It basically helps disperse the heat and doesn't actually let it soak into the uh, product itself. So super important to look at that. In my opinion, when you're going to buy a spacer or a aftermarket plenum, uh, do a little bit of research, guys. It, you know, takes a few seconds, Google it, read about the product and find out what's going to work best for you. Because what works for me may not work for you, may not work for whoever else. Like I've said in the past, guys, your build is your build, all right? Don't let anybody else tell you what you should run, shouldn't run. That looks good, that doesn't look good. We all have different tastes and styles, and just because maybe I don't like something that you like, or you don't like something I like or whatever, doesn't mean it's wrong, it doesn't mean it's bad. It's what keeps our uh, community and the car culture interesting and fun, in my opinion, because if we all had the exact same thing, I think it would be super boring, there'd be no point and kind of letting your personality flow out into your car. So hopefully guys, that answered some of your questions about it. Um, and again, feel free to uh, drop comments below. Hit me up over on Instagram. Um, I will do my best. I actually had one subscriber over on Instagram hit me up because he's having some issues with his neon lighting and I don't make it a habit to talk to you guys in video chats and stuff over there. That's not, I'm not, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. So that's on my own time. But uh, I went ahead and took a look at what he was doing and what he's having issues with and helped him out. So I really do spend a lot of time guys trying to uh, chat with you guys via uh, messaging or at least responding back to your comments you leave on here because I think it's super important. I want you guys to know that I am reading your comments, I am engaged, and I do care, but I mean, please be respectful. Like I said, I don't mind here and there trying to help you guys out and uh, reaching out off and on, but let me be the one that does that, all right? If people start trying to call me and stuff, that's just gonna get really annoying and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but please respect my time, just like I respect the fact that you guys are taking your time to watch this. So what you guys have all been waiting for, to win that carbon fiber, <coughs> excuse me, engine cover first off thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe over here and follow me over on instagram i am going to give you guys let's see since everybody has different time schedules let's i'm going to give it one week so next week on uh tuesday i will announce the winner with that said all right guys here's what you need to do if you want you're already, if you're following, you're already in, in the drawing, all right? But what you guys need to do on your part other than that, I need you to simply take a screenshot of my YouTube uh, page, take that screenshot, go ahead and message me, 
excuse me, over on my Instagram and just simply say under that screenshot, I want to win. Again, screenshot my YouTube channel page, head over to Instagram, shoot me a message with that photo that says, I want to win underneath. I'm going to compile all your guys' info and then we will uh, randomly select a winner. I will announce that winner on my next video here and I will also announce you over there. And uh, if you guys want, I will give you a shout and we'll post it up and uh, let everybody know who the winner was. Um, if not, I won't, I won't bring it up. I get it. I respect people's privacy and time and all that good stuff. So again, guys, thank you so very much for all your support. The other thing I want to let you know is this is not going to be the last giveaway. I've actually been having a lot of fun between the last one and doing this one. Uh, engaging with you guys, chatting with you guys, and trying to do what I can to help you guys out. And I find enjoyment in that. So I do have some other stuff uh, that I will be giving away in the very near future. I want to try to do this at least every couple of months. Um, and I'm thinking for the fun of it, it will be based off of, I mean, the VQs in this car and the uh, 300 or the 350 over there. But I think based on uh, which car I'm working on currently at the time, I will try to do kind of a giveaway on that platform. So they might be engine parts, could be exterior, might be interior parts. I haven't decided. And uh, we'll go from there as well as i'm just curious um i'm like i said not a super big channel and i get that but if you guys are interested i uh have an idea for a clothing brand that i want to start or my own brand if you will and uh offer up some stuff like that and maybe do some giveaways on shirts hoodies uh maybe some lanyards i don't really know for sure I'm more curious what you guys think if I should do it, not do it. Um, should I just make them for myself and go from there? And I'm going to be straight with you guys. I'm not looking to get rich and all that good stuff. So if I do end up doing this, I'll find out what my cost is per uh, unit, such as like shirts, hats, whatever it is we decide to do. And I'm only going to bump the price. Literally, I'll probably eat like three bucks. I mean, that's only fair. And we'll go from there. But anyway, that's all in the near future, guys. So I just want to kind of hear at this point what you guys think about that. With that said, guys, remember the most important thing you can do. Be kind to each other. Thank you guys so much for checking in. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm having a great time doing this. I hope you guys are enjoying the content as well. Please feel free, like I said, drop some comments, guys. Subscribe, share the videos, all that good YouTuber stuff that I'm supposed to say. Let that all be right here. I'm saying it. You know what to do. You don't need me to repeat it. Have a good one, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.